Hello Runners, I've been playing a decent amount of Monster Hunter now and wanted to share some thoughts around analyzing the offensive armor skills available in the game. I think some things are not as obvious as the game is similar but also very different than ordinary Monster Hunter. Don't worry, I'm still doing Sunbreak content but I've had a lot of fun with this game this weekend and wanted to make a video about it. So your overall damage throughput in now is actually more important than it is in any other Monster Hunter game. At the moment, as you go through the story, there's a wall in the game around the 5 star monsters, roughly when you face a Legiana or a Diablos. Hunts in now have to be completed within 75 seconds, and these two monsters in particular can knock you out in two hits and take a lot of damage to be slain. If your build is not up to snuff, you simply cannot defeat the monster even if you played perfectly. So your overall damage throughput ends up mattering a lot, as it basically gatekeeps your progression. <laughs> but I don't really love how this works, but I'll save my criticisms for another video. So I'm going to go over the armor skills available in the game and help provide an idea about roughly how much value you are getting out of them. The damage calculation in Monster Hunter Now fundamentally seem the same as other Monster Hunter games, but the motion values on attacks seem to be much larger than usual. I've been mostly playing Hammer, and in a lot of cases, they seem to be twice as large. If you're not familiar with motion values, this means that weapon attacks seem to deal a much larger portion of your total attack than in ordinary Monster Hunter games. This leads well into what is probably the strongest skill in the early game, Attack Boost. Attack Boost provides 20 attack for each point, and with the fifth point, you get 40 attack. However, currently in the game, there is no way to get to Attack Boost 5. Attack Boost is only available on three different armor pieces the Leather Mail, the Rathos Helm, and the Rathos Van Braces. Next, Critical Eye. The first point provides 10% Infinity, then 15, then 20, then 30, and 40. The first point provides a decent amount because it gives 10% right off the bat. 10% Infinity roughly adds up to 2.5% additional damage overall. This means that unless you have 800 attack, which you will not until you get very far into the game, Critical Eye will never be better than one point of attack boost. Next, Weakness Exploit, and it's kind of as good as it's always been. The first point provides 20% affinity to weak zones, then 25, 30, 40, and 50 with each extra point. The first point provides a ton of value, and if you are consistently hitting weak zones, it will provide 5% more damage overall, which means it is better than a point of attack boost when you have at least 400 attack. Because this skill is only available from the Rathalos body and legs, this will always be true, and is the single most powerful skill you can have in your set. Moving on to Lock-On. Lock-On allows you to focus a monster part and direct all attacks towards it. While this skill technically does increase your damage, consistently hitting good zones is a massive damage boost, especially combined with Weakness Exploit. This is available on the Kulu Yaku Head, or the Rathian Gloves. Next, Burst. Burst increases your attack by 5% after landing a certain number of attacks for 5 seconds. Then for each additional point, it becomes 10%, 15, 20, and then 30%. I personally have not proc burst a lot, but if you play it towards keeping this active, the 5% damage increase is about equivalent to one point of weakness exploit. Burst is available on the Rathian Waste and the Gloves. Special boost increases the damage of your special skills by 10%, then 15, 20, 25, and 30% for each additional point. Typically, you should get at least one special skill per hunt, 10% is a lot of damage, and this skill seems pretty good if you get full damage on your special skill, and especially if you do more than one special skill per hunt. Special boost is available on the Anjanath body and the waist. Element attack provides quite a bit of element damage, with 50, 100, 200, 350, and 500 element with 5 points of element attack. I have not played element too much, but from my couple of tests and some math, the element hit zones that I saw were about 15. While this may seem low, there is a lot of base element on weapons and evidently here with element attack. I will need to test further in the future, but at the element hit zone of 15 that I observed, each point of element attack increases your element damage of each attack by 7.5, 15, 30, 52.5, and 75 respectively for each additional point. This assumes all element modifiers on attacks are 1. I think it may depend on your weapon, but with how big motion values seem to be, until you get to element attack 4 and 5, attack boost should provide more benefit overall if it's an option. Those are all the offensive armor skills that I have found to be decent so far. It is worth mentioning that upgrading your weapon will always be the best use of your materials, but these armor skills should help improve your hunt. 
Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing other videos of Monster Hunter Now. Give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, hunters. Take care.